Hey guys, in today's video we are gonna be talking about temperate sundews. About a month ago I purchased Drosera Intermedia Seeds from Etsy. In this package we have some Drosera Intermedia Seeds. Before opening a seed pack we need to know about Drosera Intermedia and their specialties. Sundews are one of the largest groups of carnivorous plants. Long tentacles protrude from their leaves, each with a sticky gland at the tip. The glands produce nectar to attract prey, powerful adhesive to trap it, and enzymes to digest it. Once an insect becomes stuck, nearby tentacles coil around the insect and smother it. Sundews can reach a height of up to 10 inches. However, some species are tall and with a vine-like appearance, while others hug the ground, making their size variable. Drosera intermedia is found in shallow water in bogs and seeps of eastern North America, Europe, and high elevations in South America. The whole plant height 2 to 8 inches. Drosera intermedia is temperature sundew species. That means their seeds need cold stratification. When opening the seed package, be sure to open it in a windless place because Drosera seeds are very small, otherwise seeds may be blown away by the wind. Apply sphagnum moss or coconut fiber to the drainage holes in the container. Before using sphagnum moss or coconut fiber wash it several times with distilled water or rainwater. The most widely used ingredients to create a germination substrate, suitable for most carnivorous plant seeds are pure sphagnum peat moss, chopped long fiber sphagnum moss, horticultural perlite, and washed silica sand or any other coarse sand that does not contain lime, salt, or chemicals. I use a mixture of well-washed and sterilized coca peat and silica sand as a growing medium. Make sure your growing media does not contain any nutrition, chemicals, or salt. Once your growing media is leveled and ready, spread the seeds on the surface without burying them, they'll eventually need light to germinate. Using spray bottle mist the surface to ensure the seeds make contact with the moist media. Make sure to use distilled or rainwater. Remember to label your seeds. Record the sowing date and the estimated end of the cold stratification so you don't forget about them. Close the container with a polythene bag or a clear lid and place in a Ziploc bag. Put it in the refrigerator for 4 to 8 weeks. I'll give you guys an update once the seeds start to germinate. If you like what I do here make sure to like and subscribe. If you really want to support me you can donate to me via the link in the description. Thanks for watching this video, I'll see you guys in the next video.